guy. Howdy, and welcome back to another episode of World Bigfoot Every day. Who's that mustache guy? Do you have mustache? Yeah, they got a huge mural of Frank Zappa on the wall here with the big orange behind him. There you go. There's Frank. Hey, Frank. We are looking at Mount Sentinel. There's the big M over there. You can see there's a little zigzaggy trail that goes up to it where everybody can walk up. That's, I don't know, like 600 feet up. And there's some more of the mountain. Kind of cool looking because it's green. And usually it's always brown. You don't get to see green colored mountain here. This is what happens if it rains for three months straight. That's the top of Mount Sentinel over there, or excuse me, Mount Jumbo. Jumbo is right next to downtown. And the last little piece of video I shot was about two miles from here over in that direction. Although too many buildings and stuff, so you couldn't see it from there. And I'll see if I can get any more prettier shots here. Uh, you gotta find a pretty good size opening so that you're just not looking at treetops, but there's the ginormous mountains. And uh, way up there on the top, you can see there's like a little trail or something, road up there. That's where all the people that want to hang glide go to, up to that spot. I think they access from the back of the mountain. So anyway, Green Mountains in Missoula, June 16th, 2022. Okay, way over there. That's where East Missoula is. That's where the uh, Park Fork goes through. You can see the L on the mountain over there. Mount Jumbo. Mount Sentinel. Can't see the big M, that's behind the basket rod. Big M right there. So as you can look at how green that thing is. It's very, very green. And then if you go further over, what are we at here? There's a gap in between the mountains there. And that's uh Petty Canyon, where I've filmed many videos. And then right here is the South Hills, where the Richie Rich folk live. And if we just keep going to the right here, going straight down Brook Street, you can see that top in the distance. It's the top of Mount Lolo, still with plenty of snow on it here, second week in June. And then if I turn further around, that's uh, more of the Bitterroot Range back there. Lolo is part of the Bitterroot Range. So we got uh, Bitterroot Range on one side, Sapphire Range on the other. Beautiful downtown, <laughs> sort of. Beautiful Missoula. There you go. A lot of them making the house wet. I might as well get some video without the. Uh, Screen in the way. Woohoo! Are we having fun yet? No. I'm sick of it raining. I want to go out camping. <laughs> it sucks. It is downpouring. Yeah, fun. This is. I'm so over it. I'm not supposed to be living in a rainforest. I'm in the mountains, Montana. Where it's like a desert most of the time. What the hell?
Coloma. Nighttime. Sun's going down. If you watch the uh, video, including the live stream and after video from Paranormal Portal Channel, you will see when we were up here a couple years ago. There's Ashton setting up his Viking tent. He already helped me get mine basically set up in the background there. We got neighbors up the hill. They don't know who they are. I just saw something move up there. Anyway. Anyway. So, uh. Yeah, when we were here with those guys, we were up there, basically kind of right up behind where those two trees are, up in that spot. But just for reference, that's where we were at. Oh, excuse me. So there you, you go, the last look Thursday night here at Coloma. And we have found tracks right here before in that little area right back there. And up on top of that little bitty ridge there. So they do hang around here and roam on through here. Maybe we'll have some action tonight. Don't never know. Of Montana Cryptids and Camping. We're up here in Coloma, Montana, an old mining ghost town. People have supposedly seen not only Sasquatch up here, but it's also supposed to be a fair amount of paranormal activity. This is actually day two. We got here last night, but ended up having to get some rest, so now we're finally getting started walking around and filming and whatnot.
Walking back to camp. Duke's hanging out. We're still waiting for Michael Matt to show up. You can see it's just green as far as you can see. And there's the valley view from Coloma. The valley down there is about nine miles away. The other mountain range over there is about like 20 miles away or so. see pits there's pits in the ground what's up with that well there was a mine under it and it collapsed so you gotta be careful when you're walking around here at night so you don't just like randomly walk into a pit another example right there pit in the ground. Here's the other thing that's interesting. Look at the ground. There's nifty little white rocks all over the place. Quartz. The place has quartz everywhere. Last time we were up here at the Paranormal Portal, this is the spot we camped on. It's Friday morning. I'm up here with Ashton and Michael has not made it here yet. He'll be here later this afternoon. I had some walking around in camp last night shortly after we went to bed. I mean, like, I probably zipped the tent up two minutes earlier and there was some walking past it. <coughs> We're not sure what it was. Was, you know, there was still food lying around in camp. If it was an animal, they had something they could have just grabbed and took off with, and they didn't take anything. There's camp way down there. With Ashton playing with the fire, getting... Uh, Getting coffee going and breakfast. So I'm gonna go and have breakfast. Friday midday at camp. The mighty Viking is getting more firewood put together. And as you can see, the sky is dropping uh, hail, sleet, something, something white and pellety. Grapple. We're getting precipitation. So hopefully this will go over shortly and we'll be done with it. What a revolting development. It's I've been sitting here for about like three minutes since the last time I had the camera on. As you can see it's gotten considerably whiter on the ground there as the grapple continues to fall upon us. It's one of those weird things you only have here in the mountains. It's like micro hail. 
it's not snow and it's not sleet and it's not really like regular hail. So anyway, apparently this uh, bad storm is going to clip through here for about uh, another couple, two, three hours. And then it's going to clear off and be gorgeous the rest of the weekend. But here's the kind of fun you get to put up with if you want to go hang out on the mountain tops where the biggies are. You get nasty, lousy weather to go along with it. And it probably only hit about 50 degrees today here, so... <laughs> fun. Everything's green. And it's getting snowed on. Yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. There's a stove in the Viking tent. There is the Viking Ashton. <laughs> We're huddling in Ashton's Viking tent until the sleet storm goes over. As you can see, it's got all the needful things, a couple of different battle axes over there, lantern, or spear. Uh, I think there's a sword or something right there. Oh, and a, a teeny mat to sleep on. We brought all the essentials. So we're hanging out in here for a little while. Although we might come back and, and uh, read some encounter stories on how to Viking. We'll see you there. In a proper Viking camp, we only burn runic wood. Wood that has runes already carved into it by the rune worms. Ooh, there's your runic wood. Look at that. Ooh, pretty ruins. Viking wood. Cut by a Viking with an axe. He might even be telling us a story about a troll sighting. How to Viking. The spooky woods of Coloma. It's uh, between six and seven. There's the uh, Viking tent. <laughs> As you can see, the weather has changed substantially in the last couple hours. Now back to blue skies. And we're just getting ready to go hike a little trail near here. See, it's nice and dark in the woods already. This one apparently goes from where you got camp set up this time down into the next little valley. And at the beginning of the next rise over there is where their really ancient tree structures are. So we're going to go see how far that is from camp. And I'm betting it's not very far. We're getting ready to hike the trail from camp. There's camp. Viking guard leading the way. This is just a game trail. See a whole bunch of different kinds of animal tracks down here. I found elk and deer and um, raccoon tracks just down in this little area earlier. One of the giant slag heaps, tailing heaps, excavation heaps from the mine created from digging out the mine. 
other things of note. Quartz, 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 quartz. how nice and dead still it is too. We had birdies singing earlier today. Sounds like we got some over here. puddles from the downpour we got earlier today. <laughs> Found a massive trek out here about five years ago. Right about over there. Okay, this is about where we go up the hill. Oh, sentries. Crow sentries. Bah!
plenty of impediments to movement. Sorry about the pattern.
day three at Coloma, ghost town in the Garnet Mountain Range. About half an hour from Missoula or so. We keep showing you guys a bit more of the scenery. As you can see, it's super, super green. And we'll be back with some info about Coloma. As you can see, we've been getting tons of rain, so everything is just nice and green. Garnet. It's apparently known as the mystery ghost town or mystery camp. It's just a little bit north of the better known Garnet ghost town. They know that mining activity started in 1893 and really took off in 1896. There has been an archaeological study done. There's still ventilation shafts, some of the old cabins and stuff. This is part of the Garnet backcountry byway. So in this 12 mile area, you can see, uh, I think it's four ghost towns. Uh, Garnet is one of the most intact Montana ghost towns. There's actually historical cabins you can stay at. You can uh, snowmobile and ski in during the winter time. So really pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know if they know when the mining ended, but you can still see a lot of the tailings and stuff here too. So it makes for a pretty cool trip. One nice thing about Montana is there is... Saturday afternoon in downtown Coloma. There is the mayor's house. And there's the road up the hill. There's Michael Matt. And there's the mayor's neighbor's house. Available for sale, half off. Hot. Quarter million. There's more ruined buildings up that way. There's one over there in the back. Should be able to see it. We're gonna go up the hill to the standing stones, and then we're gonna try and find that one stone that me and Sonny were at when she got that picture of something cloaked standing there. And there's a whole bunch of different <laughs> little individual boulders up on that hillside, so wish us luck. We're gonna need it. Okay, we're over at the edge of town. You can see there's a pretty view. There are mountains way off in the distance. Way off in the distance. And we have phone reception because somebody's trying to call me. There's a good view. Mountains in the distance. way off in the distance down there below us in the valley right down there that's about nine miles away down there just to give you an idea what kind of distances we're talking about here and it's like, oh, gee, right next to us compared to those mountain ranges back there. So, sure, no place for Bigfoot to live. Quick look at the uh, standing stones, the men here is here, as we go past. going further up all right so we're up here um, between Coloma and the hunting shack something recently flipped this rock over ants are still crawling on it still moist dirt down below but I'm not seeing 
claw marks or anything. So, maybe one's still around here. Absolutely insane. Is there anyone here with us right now? Can you tell us your name? Where are you from? How many are here with us tonight? How old are you? What year is it? Can you tell me who the president is?
What do you want? You can use this to talk to us. Did you work in the mine? Was that a yes? Did you turn off my EMF meter because you were answering my question? If so, can you turn it off again? On the count of three. Okay, so you are answering my questions. You can turn it back on now. On the count of three, turn the EMF meter back on. One, two, three. Did you just drain the battery on my EMF meter? Are you going to turn my EMF meter back on? Please? Oh. I have never seen one of them do anything like that before. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> that was really weird. Back Turn that way off. is where Coloma and camp is. There's the ridge line behind camp. And as you can see, a lot of timber has been removed from this area, so it's really wide open. Easy to see anything for a long distance in here. This is the edge of Coloma, and we're going down over that way. Now well, we got up on top of that next ridge. There was a little, uh, I guess it's probably fire access or something that went up to the top of it. And there's what's down below us. But nine miles away some farmer land and uh, the access road going in through the bottom of the valley so there's your tremendous distances thing Bring it over this way see more mountain tops still snow capped all right there we go All the way around the sides, you can see where it's deeper there. And it looks like there's toe prints here. So, if this was a Bigfoot track, it was a big boy. And just as a size comparison, because I don't have my measuring tape on me, this is a size 12. And you got another 6, 7 inches in length. And put my foot right in there. Gee, look how much wider it is. Yeah. Plus your toes are right here and toes there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That'd be a big boy. Price only what nine, ten feet at least. Yeah. Back to yeah, the thicker part of the woods.
started to see right there. Another indentation looks identical. Spot of this coming up. And I'm another a tiny footprint right here. Hmm. Possible sign of a little person. Another one right there. And then this one right and there. And another one right there. And it looks like there's a left one right here. There are supposed to be little people around here. I found tracks from them before. The ones I found are a little bit bigger than that and may look like moccasin tracks. So, wow. Super creepy. And it's obviously not a bunny because it'd have its paws all together. Yeah, there's no front paws or anything. Well, and the back paws would land together. And just for scale, there's my foot. Are we heel to heel? Yep. There you go. Wow, that's super creepy. Oh, little people. Okay. She looks <laughs> identical. Just spotted this coming out. And it looks like a tiny footprint right here. Um, possible sign of a little person. Another one right there. And then this one right and there. And another one right there. And it looks like there's a left one right here. There are supposed to be little people around here. I found tracks from them before. The ones I found are a little bit bigger than that, and they look like moccasin tracks. So, wow. Super creepy. It's obviously not a bunny because they have its paws all together. Yeah, there's no front paws or anything. Well, and the back paws would land together. And just for scale, there's my foot. Are we heel to heel? Yep. There you go. Wow, that's super creepy. Oh, little people. Okay. Hard to see from this angle. Although I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like it might be a deer. Might be hoof print. Yep. Well, just in case it isn't. Yep, yeah, could be. That looks like hoof print. Yep. That doesn't. Yeah, three in a corner. Yeah, it kind of looked like there. Yeah, that one looks like there's a hoof there. Yep. Okay, Whew. terror averted. Farewell, buddy. I love you. Sunday morning. I just put some flowers on uh, Buddy's grave. Had him for 19 years. And he was a wonderful friend. And is very much missed.
Hey everyone, uh, safety first, last, and always. Pay it forward. Don't be mean to people if you don't have to be. Uh, don't flip off the mountain giant. Don't poke dog man with a stick. Don't punt the puck, would you? And for God's sake, whatever you do, do not hug the Wookiee.